It was another profitable Saturday for champion trainer Paul Nichols, and you can see the win of Aim to Prosper and the other big race at Doncaster on Saturday, the William Hill Grimthorpe Chase, elsewhere on our site and on our YouTube channel. First to go in for Nichols and Walsh at Town Moor was the grey two bat who successfully gave weight all round to win the two mile half a furlong handicap chase. The seven year old was brought down in last year's grand annual at Cheltenham and according to Nichols his confidence has suffered since. A return trip to Cheltenham is unlikely but he could head for the red rum handicap chase at Aintree draws towards the last, uh, skips over it neatly, a length and a half up, Elise Collange chasing, pestering, all the way up the town, more running, Walsh a little more animated now on Tubab, fending off Elise Collange, Tubab driven all out to make sure by Walsh, Walsh and Nichols, disappointment in the first, they make no mistake here, and Tubab defies top weight to win, from Elise Collange latterly, Prince of Dreams. Nichols and Walsh did not have everything their own way though, an odds on favourite the Milan horse trailed home last in the opening three mile novices chase. Victory went to 9-1 to outsider of three, Knight Force, who was making just his second start for Brendan Powell. The ten-year-old has been kept off the track for a long time, and this win came some five years after his last success. Good jump might settle it. Here's the last spring heel. Uh, forced an error from Phil the Power. The Milan horse is back in third, and Knight Force is powering up the town more run-in. Driven out by Brendan Powell, his 25th winner of the season. An exemplary round of jumping from Knight Force, and he's jumped his rivals into submission. Knight Force wins. Nicky Anderson's former assistant Tom Simmons secured the biggest success of his training career to date when revitalised mare Tweedledrum with the white face took the listed three-mile mare's hurdle. The six-year-old, ridden by Ben Post, was winning for a third time this season and returned at 11 to 10 on. She's edged into a narrow lead, but Wild Ruby is battling on bravely for Thornton's urging. So Tweedledrum in front, approaching the last from Wild Ruby. Here's the final flight then. Tweedledrum skips neatly to the other side. A length and a half up. Wild Ruby chasing her, but now she's chasing in vain. And Tweedledrum, uh, driven out by post to make sure, regains the winning thread, uh, lands a listed race, and and claim some black type. Tweedledrum from Wild Also at the track, Nassini Lotto in the white was a well-backed winner of the two and a half mile novices hurdle. The John Quinn trained seven yard, who appreciated the quicker ground today, returned at seven to two. Walsh driving away on Captain Kelly, who's rallying, responding to pressure. Here's the final flight, maybe all on the jumping. Captain Kelly rejoins Massini Lotto. Warden Hill was only a half length down. Massini Lotto, Captain Kelly, Warden Hill and McCoy off up the running they come. Massini Lotto drifting across the course, but he's in control, and Massini Lotto wins. They also raced at Navan, where favourites dominated. The Willie Mullins trained 11 to 8 shot Call Me Bubbles, the grey, bounced back from a disappointing debut over obstacles to win the two mile maiden hurdle under Paul Townend. He's now likely to step up in grade at Ferry House's Irish National Meeting. And Sky and on the run up towards the finish. It's Call Me Bubbles now, who's lengthened away as they race uphill towards the finish. It's Call Me Bubbles now, stretching clear, chased home by Courage and up towards the finish. Call Me Bubbles races home clear of in second place Courage close. And Mullins was added again when Rocky Boa in the green took the two and a half mile handicap hurdle for owner and jockey Patrick Mullins. The winner, who is two from two this season, is likely to switch to fences for his next start. After several solid efforts in defeat, Mad Brian secured a first win under rules when taking the two mile knobber maiden hurdle. The highly regarded Sevenrod could now go for a race at Ferry House or Punchestown. Brian over now and clear. Paris Goldwind has gone. Slightly hampered Boxwood Boy and then Champagne Agent, but a long way clear on the run up towards the finish. And Mad Brian has stretched right away, 25 lengths in front, running up to the finish. And Mad Brian wins in great style for Fergal Holford. Battle on for second, Champagne Agent and Boxwood Boy. Then running on towards the inside, Fleming Corwood, Master Oscar and Duke. And trainer Gordon Elliott celebrated his 35th birthday with a double. The most impressive was Raoul Moore, who took the two-and-a-half-mile beginner's chase. The eight-year-old, who was making his second start for Elliott, is a full brother to Noel Mead's grade one winning chase at Raoul Dove and looks an exciting prospect. Final fence now, and Raoul Moore comes to it. A huge lead just to jump this final fence. Raoul Moore is over and will win by a huge margin up towards the finish. 
Ralph Moore and Davy Condon clear, racing up towards the finish. Benash, Shinrock, Paddy, and 40 for Tom and Killer Valley. But running up to the finish, Ralph Moore wins by a distance. Shinrock.